Well, it's time now to dive into the world of text here in Corel Draw X4. As you're creating your projects, your masterpieces here in Corel Draw, odds are pretty good you're going to be using text along the way. And there's a couple of different kinds of text we're going to explore in this chapter. One is artistic text. The first half of this chapter will be dedicated to working with that type of text. And then the second half of the chapter will look at working with paragraph text. And depending on what you're creating, you'll probably need to use one or the other or both in a project. So you can see I've already opened up a file here called Artistic Text 1. It's a CDR file found in the Lesson 5 folder of your exercise files. So if you've got the exercise files and you want to follow along, open this one up. It's a one pager. And you can see across the top, I've got the words artistic text using, you guessed it, artistic text. That's a good example of where we might use artistic text in a title or a label, for example. Paragraph text, on the other hand, is just like it sounds, where you would be creating paragraphs of text, like in a newsletter, for example. So we're going to be using our text tool to create both kinds. Now, depending what you do with your text tool will determine the type of text you're about to create. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go over here to my toolbox and click on the text tool. F8 on your keyboard is the shortcut. And if I come into my page here and just click once, I'll be adding artistic text, like a title or a label, for example. If I click and drag an area, I'll by default be creating what we call paragraph text. And the paragraph text goes inside this frame. Like I said, we're going to be saving that for later on in this chapter. So I'm going to go to my pick tool. You can see here it says click here with your text tool to add paragraph text, but I'm just going to hit my delete key to remove that. I'm going to go back to my text tool, and this time I'm just going to click once. When I click once, now I'm ready to start inserting what we call artistic text. On the property bar, there are some options before you start typing. Of course, you can modify your text after you've typed it in. We're going to do that in this chapter as well. But before you even start typing, you might want to check up here on the property bar for the font that you're using and the size. You've also got these attributes and justification or alignment options. So I'm going to change my font face here to Arial Black. And 24 points is actually a pretty good size, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to go up to 36 points right here from the drop down. I don't need to bold or underline this. I'm just going to type now the text that I want to appear. You'll notice that I've got an image here. We've got an ear of corn, and we've got lines coming out. Those would be good for labels. And the first one, it looks like the husk here. So I'm going to type in, in capital letters, I'm going to turn my caps lock key on, husk, just like that. Now when I go back to my pick tool, watch what happens. It's just like any other object we've been working with. It's got handles around the outside. I can click and drag those handles to change the size. You can see the point size is changing up here. I can make the change after the fact. I'm going to go back to 36 points. As I hover over it, I see a preview. That's good. And I can go right into the center here when I see my four-sided arrow. Click and drag that over towards the line that's coming away from the husk and deselect by clicking outside. Let's try that a couple more times. We'll go over to our text tool. Notice that Arial 24 is my default, so I might want to change that to Arial Black. And with nothing typed, you can see I'm about to set my new default for artistic text or for paragraph text or both if I wanted to. I'm just setting the new default in this document for artistic text. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change the size as well to 36. I'll be prompted for the same thing. And when I click OK, now when I click, I'm going to be typing in Arial Black 36 point. So I'm going to type in Cobb. Now when I move to the center, notice I don't actually have to select my pick tool. That's the beauty of Corel Draw. Still using my text tool, as long as I'm hovering over that X in the middle, right in the center of the O here in Cobb, I get the four-sided arrow so I can click and drag that over next to that line right there. There we go. Let's try that one more time now. I'm just going to click over here, and I'm going to type in Kernel. And I'm going to go to the center and just move that down ever so slightly. And that is artistic text. Now, when I deselect with my pick tool, I've got the end product. Obviously, I can go back at any time, select these objects using selection techniques like holding down shift to select them all, make changes. I can go up to my property bar to make changes. Of course, I've got colors that I can apply as well. 
we're going to get into formatting your artistic text as we move through the lessons in this chapter. But the very next thing that I want to show you also involves artistic text, but fitting it to a path that you create. That's exactly what we're going to do in the next lesson.